jump in here, gentlemen. Um, I have to go to dinner call. And um, nice to talk to you for a little time here. 73, one and all, W6THW, Rockland. Funny how people always always have to put down what everybody else has. Elite hams with foreign accents.
I just don't really care for the scope on this, it's not real good. I wish people would stick to even numbered frequencies, especially when I'm on old radios. We've got enough bandwidth to where we don't need to split frequencies. Point five is not going to keep you from interfering with anybody. So we can hear this guy. Oh, yeah. down to here. Look at his signal. Okay, QSY. Resending text messages. See that signal right there? Horrible. But they they're probably These guys think they're special. I'm on an anon. I'm on an anon. Oh look at me. So anyway. Um they're having fun, and that's cool, but um, they, uh, they're very arrogant, and that's my only complaint with them. Drops below the horizon there, the solar panels uh, stop producing power and also noise, so yeah, it's uh, good times on 40, starting around 7 o'clock usually. Usually, these guys are so rude to anybody that tries to break in. Like it's beyond ridiculous. Three weeks now. And uh, I guess it was finally took a toll on Donnie. I but, actually uh, think got sick and, uh, 40 uh, they were is worse than 80. Some, uh, dinner the other night and he
on 40 meters, I try and stay in the extra part of the band. 40 meters is my least favorite band because of the attitude of the people on the band for the most part. If you're not listening to people that are on the West Coast, it's really not that bad, but really that's all I pick up over here. So they just all seem to be real special. So I mean, there are some nice, friendly people on there, but you're more than likely uh, to offend them by asking for a radio check or anything like that. You know, um, if you don't know them, they don't want to talk to you. You know, it's just a particularly just kind of how it is on 40. I, I find 80 is very similar, but not as bad as 40. And um, also, there's less of the, uh, the, the special California guys on 80 that come in very well. Um, uh, 20 is a better band, I think, in general. Like, 20 is better for, like, DX and stuff like that. And having a, a genuine, real conversation with somebody without being, like, you know, ridiculed and attacked for no particular reason. I've just seen these guys just literally just be complete pricks to some poor guy that just got his radio, you know? So, uh... I think if you're new to AM radio, I uh, would uh, be very careful on 40. Uh, I would stick to 20 and 10 and 15 and 17 until you get a, a hang of things. Anyway, I think this radio has pretty good receiver, and you can easily hook a pan adapter to it, so that's another plus. Mobile in Nebraska. It's pretty good. I keep forgetting it won't make any difference on my receive. Thank you. 
let me try him. Good lord. I can't hear him good enough. Kilo Golf 7, Hotel Victor Romeo. Kilo Golf 7, Hotel Victor Romeo. Kilo Golf 7, Hotel Victor Romeo. I can I can barely hear him. So with a hundred watt station for me, if I hear somebody and I hear them good, I can work them real easily. Even when I hear them like that, sometimes I can work them. So and that's the, that eighty meter loop I'm using. So you know um, I don't have time to fiddle around, but if I did, I could turn on the amp and tune up the amp, tune up the tuner. And I would be able to make contact with him, no problems. But uh, you know, it just it takes a while to do all that. And so I just uh, you know, it is what it is, right? It's possible this other guy might have been in there doubling with me too. It always throws me off when I hear noise like that. Uh, Trying to find the signal. You see he's pretty loud, but the scope doesn't show crap. I don't think you can attenuate the waterfall or change the gain of it. That's the other problem. Oh, the RF kit guy. Yeah, I think everybody's... I know at least one other person is really mad at that guy named John. Yeah, my neighbor down the road sent to amp to that guy, John. This guy's had it for like almost a year. Good talking to you. I got you logged in the QRZ. And uh, is this your uh, normal frequency? Or are you pretty much everywhere? Or... Yeah, I'm pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty much everywh
pretty much everywhere. I'm doing the digital mode There's a lot of Toda activity um, at the park. And um, that's the ride showing too. So, uh, fantastic. Uh, good luck with that. That's always fun. Um, and uh, I'm glad that you're addressing it. I'm sure she'll be happy that uh, you're continuing to uh, work on it there, John. I'll get you into uh, QRZ. Have a good evening and good luck with it. Uh, well, good talking to you. I appreciate you uh, coming back to me. And uh, it was good talking. Uh, hope to hear uh, from you again uh, on, uh, either on this band or another. This is KTM uh, 4OSG 73. But a noise blanker doesn't work on here. Oh Lord. I don't think 10 probably ever opened. Let's see if we can hear something on CB. Oh man, that is horrible. Sounds terrible. You see the signals over here. Look at that. It's just absolutely quiet. So much of a carrier. Holy hell. These guys are running unbelievable amounts of power. 20 over signal. Nobody's on 10 meters though. Good lord. This radio don't sound right on AM.
Something right here, too. <laughs> so, why is nobody on ten meters? This is ridiculous. Run the wrong antenna or something? Let's see if we can pick up any CW. Watch this though. You want to see something funny? You can even see it on the frickin' waterfall. They're all doing FT8. There's nobody talking on the damn radio whatsoever. I usually get noise right here. Oh, there is somebody. You barely hear him. But I was getting ready to call CQ. Just to see. Got too much of this noise, though. Yeah, I hear somebody there, too. 